Hi, this is Father Engel, your pastor, and here I am again. Uh, welcome to St. Joseph of Mountain View. Last week, the Bishop of the Diocese of San Jose, Bishop Oscar Cantu, uh, sent us a letter you know, uh, asking us to pray for the healing of this country, to the healing of our nation, the United States of America. Healing, that's the word that strikes me so much. And I remember our doctors, you know, if you go to a medical doctor and you, you know, you want to consult a doctor about your illness, the first thing that the doctor does would be to ask questions, to have you undergo a, uh, a test, a kind of a blood test uh, or laboratory tests and the doctor would try to find out the root cause of that illness. And only then can he diagnose, or he can give a right diagnosis of your illness. So here we are, healing of a nation, but I guess that we should discover the root cause of what we are asking for, the root cause of this division of, of the illnesses that affect our society today in the United States of America. Healing, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. But there would be no healing until we start with ourselves because the healing of a nation will depend on its citizens. Are we willing to walk on that path of healing? You know, brothers and sisters in Christ, that healing should start with us, with you, with myself, with everyone, with everyone. We always say that we pray for this country. We always say that uh, we are one nation under God. But what? What kind of God? It should be one nation under the God of love. Because with God's love, we be able to cast out the power of hatred. There's too much hatred that exists between the left and the right. There's too much hatred that exists among those who support the left and who support the right. And there's no one in the center to diffuse that hatred. And I guess one nation under God means that you and I, believers and non-believers, Christian and non-Christians, Catholics or non-Catholics, people of all races right in this country should be one, one in love for each other. And we need that. And especially that love that comes from God, to diffuse it, to cast away the power of darkness, to cast away the power of hatred that exists in the hearts of us. Secondly, we say one nation under God, but also one nation under the God of unity. We are polarized. We are polarized. There's too much divide between the left and the right. And again, we as people of God be in the center to diffuse that unity and we need the God of unity to put us all together under one nation, walking along the same path towards unity and progress and for common good. And finally, we have to be one nation under the God of peace. The reason why there's violence here left and right is because of that hatred. And so the God of peace is putting us there at the center to diffuse that hatred again so that we overcome all of these violent tendencies that afflict our nation today. And when we achieve this, then healing starts. But it's not just a proposition. It's not just that we as a church would realize and recognize the need of it. But the final question is, are you willing 
to move towards that direction. And for that reason, my brothers and sisters, the choice is yours. All we can do as a church is to ask God to help us make that choice. And that choice should be in His favor as a God of love, as a God of unity, and as a God of peace. May we all work together for the healing of our nation, the great United States of America. God bless you.